Hello everyone, uh, my name is Milan Borkar. I'm a marketing manager in the DSP business unit at Texas Instruments. Joining me today is Jeff Rogers, VP of sales from Sensory. And we're here today to talk to you about our latest offering in ultra low power, always listening speech recognition solution brought to you by TI and Sensory. Here we have a demo of Sensory's uh, voice wake up software running on our off the shelf C5535 Easy DSP evaluation module. Jeff, would you want to talk us through the demo? Sure. So what we've done is we've ported our speaker independent fixed trigger to the TI platform. And a, a key requirement for always on, always listening is it, it has to be low power. And so that means low MIPS, low memory. That's the only way to get there. And this platform provides that for us. And so a, a fixed trigger means that it works right out of the box. I don't have to train it. When I say the trigger phrase in this case, which is, Hello Blue Genie, you'll notice that the LEDs lit, which indicated that it recognized me. We're using a very inexpensive microphone here, nothing special required. I say Hello Blue Genie. Even though I said it in the middle of the sentence, it recognized it. It's not trained to my voice, so you can say it as well, and it will do the same with you. So I'm going to say Hello Blue Genie. I'm not going to put any pauses before or after, so this is completely uh, always listening, no push, push to start. Correct, Great. correct. And that's, that's absolutely key here. So there's all sorts of different applications where we can take this. Um, home automation is a big one. Light switches, Lights TVs, on. thermostats, TV um, remote controls. There's, there's no reason to have to walk over and, and, you know, when we walked into this room, the first thing we did is we flipped the switch for the, for the lights. Well, why do we have to do that? Why, why not just have a trigger that, that turns the switch on? Well, the reason is that in the past, voice triggers just weren't very reliable. They required silence before them, they were slow, they, they fault fired a lot. Now, as you can see here, every time I say hello, Blue Genie, the, 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 you know, this thing, this thing triggers. Um, so, home automation is a big one. Auto automotive is another one. Um, our, our technology is already widely used in mobile phones, and obviously that's another one. Bluetooth. Uh, all of these, these different markets, are, I think, are prime for a voice trigger. Great. And, you know, it's not only limited to convenience, right? Hygiene is another uh, play here. I mean, I can think of places like Door public open. restrooms or doctor's offices or hospitals where I want to try to touch as little as possible. Yeah. You know, imagine you go door to a restroom open. today, everything's automated except for the door. Yeah. Right? It drives me nuts. So having something like this where I just say, open sesame, and it just, right. it just opens up would be yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Great. So, I mean, great to see this technology you know, come together and uh, you know, now able to reach the hands of you know, the, every consumer out there. Um, you know, in your experience, you know, Sensory has been in business for many years. You know, what do you see uh, lately in terms of market requirements for technology like this? Well, the, the biggest requirement is it has to be low power. I mean, you can't, a, a battery powered device, and even, even things like TVs, uh, they, in order to meet the green standard, energy standards, they still have to be low power. So that's a key requirement, obviously. Uh, low memory size is another one because, uh, particularly in the consumer space, everything has to be really inexpensive. And so you can't have a big, giant speech engine that's consuming a bunch of MIPS, which draws the power, uh, increases the power a lot, or, or that requires a lot of memory because then that, that in, uh, increases cost, of course. So the, the perfect fit here, again, is, be, is what we've done here between Sensory and TI, where very low MIPS, uh, uh, 10 and less, and very low memory size, and so the, the end result is I've got an always-on, always-listening trigger that, that just works. Great. And, you know, our C5000 family is fairly scalable. You know, we're ranging up in MIPS and memory boats, so if a customer wants to add more functionality beyond just exactly. the voice trigger, they have enough headroom to add that. You know, very nice C compilers to be able to take standard C code to a if optimized implementation as well. So look forward to, you know, to winning a lot of opportunities together here. Yeah, uh, as do we. Great, great. Now I'm a customer and I'm interested. I'm seeing this video. I see this works so beautifully. Um, how do I move forward? So the first thing we have to do is just to de de define the, the product and, and the fit. Um, you know, right now what we're looking for are high volume customers. Uh, there, is, there still is, we've done the hard work, which is porting the algorithms to the TI platform, but there's still language requirements. So how many languages are required? Right now, Sensory supports over, over 19 different languages and a lot of different markets. Um, but there's still customization. Customers might want a custom trigger, they might want custom commands, and so all that needs to be defined. So again, we're looking for, for um, uh, unit opportunities of, of 250K or, or, or greater. There we have it. Uh, always listening speech recognition solutions from uh, TI and Sensory together. Uh, for more information, please go to the link at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Hello, Blue Genie. <laughs>